Hi, I'm Justine Claycorn standing here with Pat Henley, the head coach of the men's volleyball team. Pat, you guys have been three wins, three losses so far. What are your thoughts on the performance of your team so far this season? You know, we really were looking at the first two weekends. We knew we had to uh, get some wins in those weekends. Those are teams we'd be battling for a playoff spot, and, and both of them were in the playoffs last year. So I was really happy with three of the four, and you know, we had a great one last Friday against Trinity Western. I think they're still number two in the country, and kind of fell apart a little bit the second night. So. We knew this was a tough stretch here with Trinity, now number one in the country, followed up by number three in the country, Manitoba. So we're really focusing on our side of the court and trying to you know, control some of the errors we made last weekend. So who has uh, really stepped up and impressed you this season so far? Well, you know, Colin Carson is a fourth year setter. I think he's one of the best in the league in the country and he's definitely done his job. Uh, last weekend he was getting some kills and really working hard on defense and uh, you know, trying to distribute the ball to the rest of the guys. So he's done a great job. Hardy Wooldridge has also had some very good weekends along with Brad Gunter, so maybe the top two guys offensively. And uh, Mohamed uh, is back now healthy, and, and he was a big uh, part of those three wins. And, uh, you know, he, he's a big force of the net, and, and I'm pretty happy he's back healthy in the lineup now. So tonight you're playing the U of A Pandas. They're top ranked in the CIS, and they haven't lost a game yet. Uh, what are your thoughts on the opposition tonight? Well, again, like we know they're a good team, uh, pretty veteran guys we saw last year, and, and really we got to focus on our side of the court and cutting down the errors before we can really like look across the net and focus on those guys. So it's absolutely essential that we control our errors from the service line and, and we battle defensively if we want to have a chance to battle these guys. Uh, they went to five with UBC, a team we beat in the preseason. So I think our guys know that we're in touch, and what I told the guys is like, this is what you want to have at this time of the year. We need a, a measure of where we are, and. You know, at home after five games, I'm looking forward to that, and I think our guys are, so I'm excited to play this game. Great, and so last weekend you played against Trinity Western and you struggled with some serving. Is that an aspect you want your boys to focus on tonight? Absolutely, and I mean, serving is, I think, an indication of nerves, just like free throw shooting in basketball. We missed 24 serves, which comes to a set, and you know, that's not acceptable, and our guys know that, and a lot of it was nerves, and we individually talked with the guys, and for sure it's a focus from, from this match and for the rest of the semester. What else do you think the guys need to do to pull away with a win tonight? We have to play with some emotion and we have to battle and, uh, you know, if we don't battle and match them d with defensive intensity, we're not going to be successful. So those are the, the real key points, serving and, and bringing some uh, intensity to defense. Great. Well, I think you guys are going to do great tonight. Thank you so much for your time. This is Justine Claycorn reporting. Back to you guys up top.